so now uh, here what is done is you see here so these are the fragment ions formed now we'll try to assign the uh, annotate this uh, msms spectrum the first peak is uh, the mass of the first peak is 72 you know uh, 72 corresponds to alanine 71 plus protonation 72 so you can assign this as alanine and now you go to the next peak which is 201 you subtract 72 the first amino acid from 201 the difference uh, gives the mass of uh, sec the mass of the next amino acid so 201.1 minus 72 is 129 so glutamic uh, acid is 129 okay now go to the next uh, peak which is 298 so you try subtract 201 from 298.1 so now you, the difference is 98 so the 98 corresponds to proline 97 plus one protonation proline so likewise you can manually do a de novo sequencing of a pattern okay so however now uh, we have uh, we have softwares which can do all this in a automated way so in about two hours of acquisition by lcmsms so you will get as many as three to four thousand uh, protein identified uh, in, uh, so that's the throughput of uh, mass spec so uh, so you need not have to do manually like you do a data dependent acquisition or a data independent acquisition there are so this is the workflow like you have to uh, i will not go into these details like you have to uh, this again is after acquisition you will need to uh, do the search so now you will get a uh, uh, like this is the proteome discover software so you will get a list of protein identification uh, protein ids as well as the peptide spectral matches and the a peptide sequence details you will get also get msms of each peptide and uh, as, as well as the precursor masses. so so in uh, as i said in uh, for two hours of uh, lcms acquisition you can identify about three to five thousand in some cases five you can even identify five thousand proteins uh, with all uh,